If you think we got socked with severe weather, take a look at these pictures. Jerusalem got hit with a rare blizzard. It hasn't snowed like this in 50 years. Jerusalem normally gets some snow, but never this much. 15 inches of the white stuff fell, and the snow was even deeper in other parts of the Middle East. The winter blast shut down schools and brought traffic to a standstill, but not everyone is complaining. <laughs> Israel's only ski resort says it's great for business. Snow in Jerusalem, snow in Atlanta, and what's snow going on? in Amman, Jordan, believe in it or Jordan not. Jordan, even. So, yep. this is the apocalypse, is, is nigh. That's right, but since they pay that's me only right. to do local <laughs> stuff, whatever the anchors guys say, you always say that's right. <laughs> All right, for us, everybody, the story is cold temperatures in around the tri state area. It's so cold, it's hard to get these words out. 19, humidity 49%, northwest 15, gusting to 22. And we have a wind chill factor of minus six degrees. That's what it feels like in around the tri-state area. We're going to flip pages, tell you that the normal should be right around 38. Statistically, we're out of the heart of the winter. Right now, 38 degrees. The normal low should be 25. The record is 66, 19, 60, minus 2, 19, 25. For date, January 1 through 27, we're still above normal for the month. And another cold day coming up, but not as cold. 20 degrees in the Midtown area, 18 Nicelip, White Plains, 18. New Brunswick, Trenton, Wrightstown, Belmore, Newark. Everybody really below freezing. And for tonight, temperatures will be double digits here in town. We'll play with teens from the city to Islip, 9 White Plains. Tomorrow, maybe above freezing, but no big deal. A lot of sunshine. We'll call it golden sunshine for tomorrow. And then a change. Here's the change. Watch the snow across the Ohio Valley, portions of Kentucky, Tennessee. Watch the rain across portions of Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, heading into Georgia, South Carolina. And here comes another storm. Believe it or not, ice over Tupelo, Mississippi. Give us a break. That storm's going to kick southwest, northeast, move steadily in our direction. And the track of the storm very important. It looks like it gets going across the Ohio Valley and another one forms across the Carolinas. Snow breaks loose here on Sunday night and probably changes over mixes with rain coastal sections on Monday. More snow inland. More on that as we head through the weekend. But skiers get happy because if you're a big time skier like Mary is from Bristol to Sterling to Westmount to Peak and Peak, Snow conditions will be absolutely excellent. More snow up there, more of the white stuff. And for us, we'll sneak and peek at the weekend. Clear and cold, diminishing winds. The city plays with 10 north and west below zero. And looking ahead to tomorrow, golden sunshine. Touch football for Jim in the park, 30 degrees. He's a middle linebacker. And then he wakes up. <laughs> All right, I think the weekend's going to be okay on Saturday. Thickening cloudiness on Sunday. After midnight, snow may begin here. I think it could accumulate, and then we're going to play with snow mixing with ice, perhaps changing terrain. But that's the trend. We'll talk more in detail over the weekend. I think my touch football years are behind me. 